welcome back to Blackshly and Remaining Gaming, where we're going to be entering the black place. In the subs- holy shit, I thought that was the fucking Meta Knight ship, but it's actually a Kingdom Hearts what? final area boss. And, um, what? damn, that was a gun. That a was giant some load. Late. <sighs> okay. <laughs> making darkness portals. So I already took that too far. Yes. This looks like New Pork City. Kind um, of. You know, it also kind of looks like the Death Star, or not the Death Star, a Star Destroyer. From Star Wars. Because... I don't remember those. They're basically just giant triangular ships. Got it. That how are bigger than most countries. They're fucking massive. Like, that ship is massive. The fucking Star Destroyer up there is even massive here. Massive -er? Shit! Massive -er. Massive plus severe. Massive -er. Wow, that ship is just getting absolutely demolished. Yeah. Well, look at it. Uh, well, look at all that. All the ships that pos Little popped out of it. Don't, don't try to do this. I will punch you in the face. Do you think you're out of my reach? No. No. <laughs> Look at Kirby going in on the Ultima ship. Shit! All okay. Fuck all this shit. All we needed to send in there was Kirby. Kirby on a suicide mission beats any nuke. Yeah. Maybe not. But no, no, not e not made. No, literally, Kirby on a suicide mission beats any fucking nuke, bro. That's the end of that shit. He swallows space. Space is his mouth. His mouth is... No, not space is... Is that Olimar's ship? Yeah. The oh, SS Dolphin? That explains why it's shit. Actually, no, that's not the SS Dolphin. The SS Dolphin's the other one that's good. Oh. But that's, that's the, the budget that's shitty one that he gets in Pikmin 2 because his company's gone under. So when is Sonic going to magically show up out of the darkness because this Literally is Literally the final boss. Literally the Literally, final boss? Literally. When you're fighting Taboo, he's like, I'm Sonic! Chili dogs! Gotta go fast! Mario. Also, Sonic is So where does Luigi show up? Did pe so literally, people just show up out of the fucking darkness from nowhere. Is basically what's gonna happen. Because we don't have everything, and we're now in the dark place. We're less than a quarter of the way through this game. <laughs> no, we are more than halfway through this game. Subspace? Yes. Is half the game. Yes, this is half the game. We're not in actual subspace yet. Shut the fuck up. Because... It's because right after this, we lose every That's character scary. we found and have to travel through the entire world again to find them again. Did you forget about that? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, that's right. You you literally told me that these things are immune, and I forgot ten seconds later. Yep. Because it was not ten. It's like ten. Oh my god. Oh fuck. He's he bounces things. Run away. He uh, he's a bouncer. He bounces. Yeah, things. he bounces things. Yeah. He's the guy who doesn't let me into parties. I've never seen a real bouncer in my life. Really? Really. I, I have only ever seen, or like, I've seen a couple of bouncers. I've only ever been denied entrance by a bouncer once, and it was only because he was only supposed to let people in if they paid. <laughs> <laughs> so he was a, a, he was a bouncer, but you needed to pay $2 to get into a party. A cover Which fee. wasn't even that cool. Like, it was particularly not- It was two dollars, so of course it wasn't that cool. But, no, like, it was like a house party, and they were charging to get into the fucking house party. That's dumb. Yeah. But, like, I didn't pay, because my friend was the person who was throwing it on. I sat outside and waited for ten minutes for him, because he wouldn't answer his fucking phone. Right. Until he showed up, and he's on. like, whoa, dude, why didn't you just call me? And I'm like, I fucking did. Like, three times. And, right. yeah. And then he just said, okay. And he's like, yeah, no, this guy's cool, we're gonna let him in. And then I went in there, and I fucking DJ'd for a little bit. And not actually DJ'd, because DJ was taking a break, and I was just playing music and shit. And it was like... It was it was a kind of cool party, but... It's a at, weird at, story. At three, point, at three times during the night, people were like, holy shit, the cops are showing up. Holy shit, the cops are here. And then apparently somebody, like, fucked up the, um... I don't know, the, the DJ fucking freaked out and said, holy shit, the cops are showing up, we're gonna do this. And he, like, was, like, running through the fucking party, just, like, whispering to all the people he knew, like, what the fuck, the cops are gonna show up, they're gonna be here. 
sounds I like everyone took a little bit too much LSD. Nobody, nobody, there were, I knew a couple of people who were taking LSD that night. Yeah, but, it um, sounds like everyone just took a see, little bit too is, much. See, the thing is, is that the only, the dude who was starting all the rumors about the cops showing up, which was DJ, he was, he didn't take LSD, he was just really drunk. Oh, god damn it! drunk people ruin everything. Yeah, but see, the thing is, <laughs> is that the party kept going despite that, until eventually the person who owned the house, or no, the person who owned the the daughter of the person who owned the house literally just sort of showed up, ripped out the audio cords and shit, so she turned everything off, and then right. she turned all the fucking lights, like, all the way on, and she's like, who the fuck broke the fence? Everyone get the fuck out of here right now. <laughs> and, that, it, and it was like 11 o'clock. Who the fuck <laughs> broke the fence? Who the fuck broke the fence? It's 11 o'clock, the party's over, and, and at 11, at 11 p.m., I wasn't even God drunk, and I'm like, we're going home. I'm, I'm like, fuck this. That's, that seems like a really shitty party. It was it was it was a shitty party. I mean, was, I've never been to a party party, and I've it, never wanted to, because fuck people, I hate them. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was pretty cool. Like the entire party could be summed up in in what I just said, you know, crazy cop bullshit. And then I went outside for a little bit and I smoked some weed, and uh, I had a guy offer me a little bit of cocaine, and I said no. Um, and then I had a guy... Oh, we're, we're dead, by the way. And oh, then, what? We won! Yeah, God shit. damn it. That's the most <laughs> bullshit. When you win, but you also get fucked over by your friend who doesn't know how to play Smack... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You don't ever go to parties. Fuck you. You're not cool. Wow, that hit home, didn't it? No. Oh, wow. Do you think it was supposed no. to? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, cause I know you don't like parties, but... Yeah. I don't know. The, the very, the really cool part about parties is the guy who runs around, who's just drunk as fuck, carrying a bottle of smir Smirnoff, and he's just like, here, have a shot. Here, have a shot. Here, have a shot. And he just drunk hands you the fucking bottle. Oh, wait, I'm not fucking Lucas. Right, now. I was butt Why would you ever be Lucas? Because Lucas is actually kind of a cool character. Yeah, dude. But, but yeah, no. You're bad at playing Lucas. Drunk people are either the best thing ever, or they ruin everything. And it's, there is no in-between... There's really two different kinds of drunk people. There's like a hundred different kinds of drunk people. Right, but there's really... There's only two that matter to me. People that piss me off when they're drunk, and people that make my time feel better. Have I ever actually drunk. been, like, r drunk around you? Yes. Did I piss you off? Well, you were also drunk. I was also so. incredibly drunk. So... But, like, have I ever been, like, really drunk around you while you're not drunk? No. Because... Because I, would, I wouldn't want to be there. <laughs> I don't get a lot of enjoyment out of being around drunk people. I mean, I don't really like to get drunk anymore because I've had a couple of, like, just a handful of, like, less than stellar experiences. And I just, like, haven't had any really good experiences while I'm, like, really drunk. No, not while you're really drunk. That's I the mean, thing about getting drunk is there's getting drunk and then there's fucking up because you drank too much. Yeah. There's, like, I'm three beers in and this is starting to feel good. And then yeah. there's, I just drank an entire six-pack by myself in the hour, and I'm going to puke my guts out. Oh, that's fucking nothing, dude. Like, I've actually no, drank... No, but that's a shit I've drank of an entire eighth of uh, whiskey to myself in under two hours. I've drank a fifth it was... to myself in under two hours. Fuck. But, uh... The thing about beer is it just pumps your stomach up too much. Oh, yeah, true. And then you gotta puke. But that's enough talking about... You no, know. dude, everyone likes fucking Everyone drunken. likes drunk stories. I don't know. See, the, the thing that I've been told about getting drunk, me getting drunk, and I've only been drunk like three or four times around people that would talk about that. Also, we're dead again. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, because you're not yeah. focused. Because I'm talking about shit like we're focused. supposed to. Basically, basically, the thing about me when I'm drunk is that it's like a light switch. It's like I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm not drunk, and then I'm kind of buzzed, and then I'm like, keep drinking, and then just bam. I'm just drunk as fuck. Just drunk off my ass. And it's like, I've only ever, I've never really gotten drunk off of beer. And I've never gotten to the point where, like, it's always whiskey, is basically it. Yeah. Is if I go out and I get a thing of whiskey, I'll sit there with the bottle of whiskey, and I'll drink it until all of a sudden I'm just fucking drunk as fuck. Right, that's the thing about hard and, alcohol, though. Is and, that's what happens. Is you drink it, and then you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> that's just how that works. Yeah, true, but I mean... That's that's why I like lower percentage alcohol drinks. You know, I don't Because like, then I get to enjoy the climb. 
I mean, I don't really like to get drunk on, like, beer and, and like, I don't really like wine and shit. But no, wine's gross. It's, it's because, I mean, the thing is, is that I drink beer to enjoy the beer, okay? Like, I don't, I don't, like, I, I sip the beer. I don't chug the beer, ever. <laughs> I, I can chug I've, a beer. I've done that. I've chugged beer. I mean, I've shotgunned, like, three beers in a row and then just been like, you know what, this isn't fun. I've never I don't shotgunned be a anything, because I just think that's, I think it's more of a pain in the ass than it's worth. Yeah, I mean, it's the, it's what you do when you want to be a frat boy, but I didn't realize it was for frat boys at the time. And I'm like, you know what, this is not fun. After three, I'm just like, I don't like this. I held a this Roman is... candle exactly at midnight on New Year's, while in my other hand chugging a beer. That's that's pretty cool. Like, honestly, I'd do that. And what I, I would and not do... And then when I was done, I yelled, Murica, fuck yeah. Well, <laughs> that's just what you do when, yeah. you, when you fucking hold a Roman candle. There's also a Pabst Blue Ribbon. Okay, yeah. So, no. like, when you drink, no. Fuck yeah. No, okay. <laughs> if, if you are drinking a Pabst Blue Ribbon, you have permission. You're a redneck and you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you are drinking a Pabst Blue Ribbon, you have every right to act like a fucking redneck at the time. Right. Like, it's it's if you don't, I'm almost offended. Let's and then be honest. I went to bed, and then my stepbrother woke me up with a shot of 151, and we got crunk as fuck okay. while watching The Simpsons. Good time. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. I mean, honestly, I prefer weed to, to to beer. If I'm if I'm trying to get like out of my mind, yeah. But I have just, you ever I had one fifty one. Everclear. Oh, oh, I've had uh, I've had Everclear. Yeah, actually, no, it wasn't ever. It was moonshine. It didn't really taste all that alcoholy, but I drank like it was like oh, how much was it? It wasn't all that much, but I was just I was pretty pretty drunk after that. Yeah, it was like. 151 is legal moonshine. Damn it, Butt Scooch is dead! Damn it, Butt Scooch. Butt Scooch is dead! No, 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 not damn it, Butt Scooch. Damn it, damn it me using Butt Scooch. It's always the Pokemon trainer. Now fault. for the main! I'm about to die. Um, yeah, but how long has it been? I don't know. What? How long has it been since you, you, you diefied? Uh, you know, earlier when we died? That's oh, yeah, how long that's right. it's been. <laughs> you, yeah, never. You've never died. Yeah. You don't know whether or not it'll be fun. So don't actually knock it till you before. hate it. I've been legally dead. Really? Yep. Uh, I had when, an when anesthesia poke my heart with a tube. And oh. I had to be resuscitated. Oh, and that was... Oh, shit. I was seven. Oh, when you were seven. Yeah. Okay. That is less fucked up. Than, or not less fucked up. I had a up. heart murmur. And a anesthesia poked shit. my heart with a anesthesia tube. Okay, yeah, which that's, isn't that's, supposed to be there. It's supposed to be in your lung. Yeah, that's so that's kind of he fucked. really fucked up. Yeah, he he really fucked up. But yeah, it had to be resuscitated. Resuscitated. Yeah. Resuscitated. Yep. What, what was what was dying like? Uh, it was kind of cool, but then I woke up and my mom was crying, and then we went and got McDonald's. Oh. McDonald's was good. I got a Happy Meal, and the toy was shitty. What happened? Like, like what actually? Did you just black out and you just didn't remember anything? Yeah. Did you have a DMT trip? No. Oh my God! Look, it's the taboo thing. That's about fucking what's his name? Japanese face dude, who's awesome as fuck. Sakurai? And I can't. Yes, yeah, Sakurai. You always forget. I always, dude. I'm sorry. I'm not good with foreign names that are obviously and not really American. Just. But you know about Miyamoto. Right? Yeah, I know about Miyamoto. And because you know this fucking... isn't Miyamoto. Yeah. See, but the thing is, is that I might fuck up and say Miyamoto. That's, <laughs> that's just the thing. That's just the thing, bro. Is that I am not good with foreign names. Like, you come at me with, like, some some sort of, like... Anything that's not, like... That's obviously not supposed to be English. And I'm just like, okay, what the fuck is that supposed to... Like, like you... German names? No, like, German names are fine. Like, Seb Sebastian... No, I mean Bach. German last name. Not like Von Vaughn like, is no. Russian. No, is it not? Von is a German oh, you're right. thing. You're right. Trust me. But there like, was a, um... German last names that are like twenty or more letters long, filled okay. with T's and Z's, yeah. Yeah. are ridiculous. Yeah, fuck that shit. And they're great. I'm sorry. What I said earlier was somewhat racist, um, if not completely racist. Hey. And I regret it. But um, I mean, everyone that lives in yeah. England's name is Beckham, right? So, no. let's just stop pretending. <laughs> let's just stop pretending. 
that there's anything but Beckhams in so, England. So what's everyone's name in America? Smith? Oh, dude, we got a we got we got Lucas sticker. Oh, look at that! Sweet. That's how he looks in Mother Three. Hell yeah, he looks like a small child. He is a small child. Oh, that's right. And he dies. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good night. Or does he?